Still a lot of questions tonight about what will happen to the Salt River horses in the future. Will they come to sanctuaries like these? Will they be auctioned off or will they stay in the wild? This is Reyes. From a scared horse to an affectionate one, Glenn Davis has brought this guy back to life. You couldn't get near him. You'd go to touch him and he'd shake all over. Filling up their water buckets is part of his nightly routine at New Beginnings Paso Fino Horse Rescue. He worries about wild Salt River horses trying to be moved to a place like this. As the battle unfolds, Governor Doug Ducey already saying the horses will be provided sanctuary. His people telling us the Parks Department or nonprofits could step in to help if need be. You're taking them out of a wild environment and trying to domesticate them, and I don't see how it's going to work. Plans at the Tonto National Forest on hold. We are not ready to impound horses. Mary Templin says the wording of their notice may have caused confusion. The way that legal notice is written, it says we could. So we're just saying we're, we don't plan to. We're agreeing to sit down and meet with um, some of the state legislature and, and um, some of the other groups. And when meetings get underway, advocates like Davis will be rallying to let the horses stay in the wild where he and many believe they belong. I think it's a stall tactic in, in waiting for things to settle down and, and see if they can wrangle some other way of doing it without causing so much of a commotion. Still a lot of trust issues with the Salt River horses and the U.S. Forest Service. A lot of advocates do plan to go out to the Salt River to keep an eye on the horses to make sure they are safe throughout the weekend. Reporting in Phoenix, Kim Tobin, ABC 15 News.